everyone and welcome back it's your girl lucky art also known in my teaching hours as miss haynes and i'm coming to you with a very serious matter today and that matter is everything you need to know about hosting your own paint night your own sipping paint what are the main things you need and i want this to be also very budget friendly so i'm gonna give you some tricks and tips too to make it very budget friendly so you can do like with a small group big group whatever you want and it's very easy to do by yourself so let's get into it the first thing i'm sure everyone wants to talk about is paint right it's a paint night it is a sip and paint it's the most important part so let's talk about it with your paint you really only need if you're trying to be like Again, cost friendly, not trying to splurge too much. You can really get a lot done with only buying the primary colors. So that's red, blue, and yellow. Why? Because these three colors mix together to make your secondary colors. So I'm talking about green, orange, and purple. So when you buy your primary colors for your sipping paint, really, you can tell your people, you actually have six colors already there, okay? And then also, um, you can buy black and white, right? Cause then you can get into your shades and you can get in your tints. So you mix that white to that red, hello, you got some pink, one of my favorite colors, plus green, A. Eh? And then um, you have your black, you can mix with white, get you some gray. Already you have so many colors and you, again, only bought the three primary colors and then you bought um, white and black. And then also, hey, I'm a brown girl. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy brown okay i'm not about to try to mix i know you can mix like all the colors together primary colors and the neutrals or whatever and you can get brown no and they do all about it that's just too much um brown is really good to just get any skin tone really popping or i feel like it's just not a color that i want to mix so again i'm going to go over my list and i'm also going to show you a video that i have of the colors so again red blue yellow get your primary color and then get your white and get your black. Boom, that's five colors right there that you bought. And then get that brown. That's six total and you have everything in the rainbow, okay? And then also, um, this size. What size is this, friends? This is a pint, boom. This goes a long way. Like one bottle goes a long way. I did this for over with, I used um, these size paints with about 30 people and still have a lot left in these bottles. I think red got a little carried away, but I mean, it's red, people go crazy. And also to another way to do it, if you already know, this is if you want people to have more expression and more freedom with what they're painting. So like with me, even though I'm guiding you, I want you to use your own colors. I want you to get really creative, you know? We might be painting coffee mugs, but yours ends up being a bottle. I don't know. Feel free to express yourself. Um, but another route to go to, if this is still just too much doing with the colors, if you already know like what you're going to paint and what you're gonna um, have people paint. So say if you know for a fact um, you're painting pumpkins and the only colors you feel like you need to buy is orange, brown, white, green or whatever and that's what you use to create your picture and you want everyone else to use that that's another way to do it too when you're trying to make sure that you're um not splurging spending too much especially if you're funding the whole thing by yourself okay so we just talked about paint oh yes so let's talk about where you can get the paint too um i ordered this this is sax i ordered this off of amazon um because i was definitely in a rush and you know got that prime membership so it was two day shipping but also, you can go to Walmart, you guys. Walmart has a really good acrylic paint that's really good for um, sipping paints. They, I love Apple Barrel, and they sell Apple Barrel at Walmart. Um, other paints that I like for sipping paint is Plaid is good for sipping paint. Um, yeah, and then you know you always can go Michaels, different places. But I'm telling you, you don't want to, it's a sipping paint. So you're not, I, if I were you, I wouldn't roll up into Blick and get like the finest, highest grade acrylic. No, 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 no. This again is how you can be super friendly and still have awesome sipping paint, budget friendly. Okay, so that's all I have on paint right now. Let's move on to our second thing. Okay, your surface. Let's get into the surface. So I, I had really a lot of fun doing this at my school, but um, I went with canvas panels. I went with canvas panels 
Um, I feel like you can get a nice bulk size and I'll put the link at the bottom. You get a lot of bang for your buck, okay? So you can get these in packs of like 12. This is a size 11 by 14. I feel like this is a great sip and paint um, size, especially when you're trying to create something within like 30 minutes into an hour. You don't need anything extra big. And then also this is easy to carry away with you. And you know, the great thing about sip and paints is that you're painting with acrylic because it dries you're not painting with oil so you'll have a nice finished dry painting before you leave um so this size is 11 by 14 this is a nice size you can go up more if you want to but again this is a canvas panel so you see it's flat flat board versus um you know a stretch canvas those are great now if you want to you know splurge more and do that that's fine go right ahead um, but usually with those, a lot of times you might need like some easels. And so that's another thing. I didn't have easels in my budget for all those people. So this worked really well because it already has a hard surface. So you just can paint on it. Um, yeah. And you don't need an easel. Hey, hey, hey. But easels are awesome. And they're also very easy to hang. You can get you like some little Velcro strips or like command sticky stick. Boop. Plop that. Oh, why did I just hit that so hard? Boop. Plop that right on the wall. All right. Perfect. Paint brushes, paint brushes, paint brushes. A big brush or a small brush. Make sure, yeah, just give them two options. That's what I did. I went mines. I made sure that they had a bigger brush. Um, I did flat brush. Do flat brush. That is way easier for people, especially if they're not painters to work with. Flat brush is the way to go. Okay? Just my opinion. Some people might disagree, but I'm telling you flat brush. So do a flat brush and do a skinny brush you also can do like those um sponge brushes too like those are good too during sipping paint so maybe you want to have that for them to knock out their background a sponge brush and then a flat brush one that's bigger than this brush and then a tiny brush so they can get into the little areas and one good note to tell everyone at a sip and paint if they're like doing their own drawing because with mine people do their own drawing i'm not sketching out drawings for people beforehand no i want you to have the full creative experience so they sketch it out first and then we get into it one big thing i would suggest to tell them is don't worry about making it perfect because a lot of people are like want to stay in their line and go outside the line you are using the acrylic paint it dries fast you'll be able to clean up your messes later so i always tell them you know just go in freely don't worry about it being neat clean up your mess at the end i mean that's how i paint anyway so i just paint 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 and then at the end i'll start cleaning up you know that's where you find those nice fine lines hey wait so friends now the question is what are we going to put our paint on like do we need all these expensive paint palettes and stuff? Because if you're trying to do this for 15 or 20 people or more, it can get pretty um expensive. However, you don't need that. Let's talk paper. Let's talk paper plates. Let's talk paper towels, friends, okay? I use, and a lot of people use, at Sip and Paints, just paper plates. It's an easy cleanup. Squeeze the paint out again. And when you're squeezing the paint, I'm telling you, if you want to pre-pour or whatever, just one, two, like two squeezes, and you'll have a nice um, amount of paint on your plate. And I'm going to show you an example of that right about now. This is all I used, and you'll probably still need, have like a lot left over. Okay, great. So again, paper plates are awesome for sipping paint, right? And I always give people two plates. So one to hold the paint, the other plate for them to mix, because you don't really want them mixing and where you're already holding the paint because then it gets messy and then they want more paint no 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 no. the best way to do it is have your mixing plate and have your paint plate to hold the paint all right um also you want paper cups or you can do plastic paper or plastic whichever you prefer for them to put the water in and a nice trick okay a very nice trick um when it comes to painting especially if you get a little lazy like me you don't really like to switch out your water as much so you try to keep it as clean as possible when you are switching out colors so i just use say i just used the red paint i'm not about to go straight into the water right i'm going to wipe it off the paper towel as much as i can with the red paint then i'm going to go into the water rinse 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 and wipe it off one more time 
I'm telling you, that keeps your water clean versus some people, okay, I'm done using red. I'm going straight into the water. Mm, don't do that. That'll save you a lot of headache, especially you don't want people getting too much up back and forth and stuff or whatever. I mean, unless it's that type of party, you can. But to keep it nice, cool, calm, and collective, um, if you keep that method where you, um, before you go to the water, you wipe off on a paper towel, then go to the water, you'll be on to something. All right, so again, paper or plastic cups are great to hold your water in. Um, we talked about the paper plates. Very great to use. Make sure, again, you get these people too. Maybe you want to buy big plates or smaller um, plates, however you want to do it. And then um, paper towels. Definitely paper towels to clean up the mess. And then I was a little extra. I had plastic aprons. They look pretty awesome. You don't have to do all that. It's okay. Just tell people wear clothes they don't mind getting paint on. Or paint neatly and you don't have to get paint on it. Whatever. But uh, plastic aprons definitely came in handy too. It was a really cute, nice touch. So friends, I hope you all enjoy my tips and tricks for a nice, friendly, good time for a sip and paint. Oh. Well, right now, I guess it will only be a paint night. So, friends, I hope you enjoyed the tips for, like, an awesome paint night. And then, if you want to make it a sip and paint, you already know. I'm sure what to do on that end. Get your snacks. Grab your snacks. Find out whatever beverage you want to have. And then, make it cute in its own special way, too. On which, like, at the one we did at my school, it was so awesome. We had pretzels. Really nice. Um, different little snacks. And then, we had some sparkling water. And it was just a great time. And you can make it how you want. Oh, plastic. If you need table coverings, just get you some plastic um, tablecloths. Put that down. It'll save your tables. It'll save your floors, whatever you're using. If you're sitting on the floor doing it, I don't know. Get you a nice um, tablecloth, plastic tablecloth. And cover it too you can get cool and like color coordinated if you want to all that it's so much fun you guys i really love sipping paints and paint nights all that stuff i love paint i'm an artist after all um if you have any questions any questions feel free to comment uh i hope y'all enjoyed this video until next time thank you